Hello, this is Kevin Smith, and the game I chose to play for our Let's Play is uh, You Must Build a Boat, developed by Luca Redwood under the developer name 88 Games. It's a match three game with base building, upgrading, uh, combat, and exploration mechanics added on. It's similar to 10 million, which is Luca Redwood's prior game. So, for our game, which is called Mars Matchers, it's a match three base building game. So you re you gather resources in the match three mechanic, and then you progress by building buildings in the base building segment. So in a way, it's similar in that the match three is a vehicle for player progression in a larger meta game. So, as for you, must build a boat itself. Mechanically, it's a drag based match three where the player uh, drags rows and columns around the board to create matches uh three or greater um but also in a greater sense it's a base building game in which the player must gather resources and make themselves more powerful in order to uh upgrade their boat which visually grows and changes over the course of the game so um and you can also upgrade specifically the character that you play as, as well as their equipment, which allows you to get farther in the match three mechanic easier. So, the combat and exploration mechanics are also present during the match three segment. Uh, at the top of the screen, you can see a player running across a dungeon type area. And this is directly affected by the match three. The player sometimes encounters chests or locked doors, that need to be unlocked and the player needs to match key tiles to unlock those or they'll encounter an enemy and the player needs to attack with magic or swords and the player is just sort of generally also um trying to gather resources items and defenses for themselves through uh the different types of tiles so the game also has a unique story and gameplay progression in that the player can complete quests, and the more quests they complete, the more rewards they get. And if they get to the end of a quest chain, the game will actually move on, because the boat will be upgraded to a certain point where they can move further in the story. Um, and as well, the game gets harder as it goes on, so the player is incentivized to keep upgrading their equipment to continue to progress. So, what makes this game different from others in its genre is specifically its narrative, as well as the way the match three actually works, in that it's on sort of an invisible timer. The, the player is running across the top of the screen and they're sort of constantly falling back and back further to the left of the screen. If they reach the left, the player uh, ends their match three session. So that's unique to the game. And also they can add more time onto the timer by completing objectives. As well, there's the exploration mechanic, like uh, unlocking chests and getting just generally getting through the, the actual base, uh, I mean dungeon. And then the last thing that makes it unique is its base building mechanics. Uh, not many match threes have specifically a larger metagame progression that the player can do something by being match three. So similar similarities to our game, Mars Matchers, is that our mechanic is our central mechanic is that you use a sort of basic match three mechanic to gather different types of resources and these resources allow you to build and maintain a base which helps the player cope with the difficulty on a random curve ours is different in that the game of it will eventually end it's a high score based game whereas uh you must build a boat is more particularly a uh uh, narrative-based game, so it has a beginning and end. I really like the uh, look of the game. It's really compelling. Um, the mechanics are all really satisfying. It feels good to get a match, and it feels good to upgrade your equipment. And just the overall signifiers of the gameplay, all the sort of big, flashy rewards are all really fun. What I dislike about the game is that eventually the progression does end, so you can reach sort of an end point where the game sort of stops giving you meaningful progression uh roadblocks 
So it's still fun to play, but it's less fun to engage with. And that's it. Thank you.